um, so the changing dri driver for the change is the first, it was the 2010 incident that the China is banning the export of the rare earth mineral to Japan because of the you know, territorial conflict. So by then we understand that the China is willing to use the um, uh, power of its economy for the uh, for the aim or achieving the um, political uh, objective. So and then we had this uh, you know COVID nineteen where we realized that we are heavily dependent on the uh, production of the gloves and masks and PPE uh, in China and uh, we had uh, shortages. So that was the basic driver for for Japan to reconsider the importance of the economic security. We have these uh, four different pillars of the economic security. One is the uh, uh, resilience of the supply chain. So we do check and revise the supply chain where the most vulnerabilities, are we depending on the unreliable sources? So that's the supply chain resilience. And particularly we focus on the uh, uh, critical items. We haven't defined what are the critical items yet, but uh, after the passing of the law, then uh, there will be a definition of the critical items, which are perhaps limited to the certain number of the um, uh, items. The other part is the protection of the critical infrastructure. The infrastructure, particularly the um, uh, trains, uh, auto, uh, electricity, gas, and, uh, and uh, 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 logistics, uh, airports, um, uh, credit cards, you know, these are the things that are very important for the daily lives and economy of Japan. So the 14, uh, 14 different domains are designated and the each um, uh, operators of these, uh, um, <clears throat> of these uh, critical infrastructure need to revise where the sources of the equipments that they procure for the air traffic management or train management or credit card controlling systems, you know, those systems need to be revised. So these are the basic uh, uh, objectives of the, um, uh, uh, of, of the economic security and new bill. And this will uh, create much more uh, clear cut idea of what are the important items need to be uh, uh, secured and the rest, as for the free trade, you can rely on the uh, other suppliers, which may not be reliable, but uh, you know, which is uh, good for the for the economy. Um, and uh, and so this economic rational, the balance between the economic rational and the security interest, is the key for the new economic security bill. Well, on the surface, I don't think there'll be a much difference or much change, but that uh, war in Ukraine realized that the dependence on the uh, potential uh, adversaries um, such as Russia or China will create the very big vulnerability. If you try to impose the economic sanctions on Russia, the current European situation is very troublesome because the dependence on the Russian oil and gas. And that has been a problem. And I think this uh, war in Ukraine could uh, realize or re, uh, well, we became aware again that uh, this, is, uh, this is an important issue, the economic security and uh, economic security is important to, to make sure that we'll be able to have options to, uh, to impose the economic sanctions. And also we uh, try to, to de defer and uh, defy and to be resilient from the economic coercion from the other country. So 
I think the economy in the future will be more controlled rather than the free trade. But again, um, the Japan is based, based on the, the concept of a free trade uh, regime. So as long as we think that it is safe enough to, uh, uh, to, to, uh, to trade, then we'll continue to trade. But there are elements of the security in the, in the economy. So we are now getting more aware that we have to, we have to be vigilant for the trade with the potential adversaries.